Hi, I am Princess Abby from Somerset County. I am the Dairy Princess and I will be here reading this book called Out and About at the Dairy Farm. Written by Andy Murphy and illustrated by Ann McGullen. We're going on a trip to the dairy farm. We can't wait. Welcome to Red Oak Dairy Farm. We make sure you have milk for your cereal and ice cream for your cone. Can you think of anything else made from milk? At the dairy farm, cows or female cattle are raised to produce milk. Some dairy farms have bulls or male cattle. Farms also have calves or baby cattle. Here is a Holstein cow. Her black and white spots are like fingerprints. No other cow has spots just like hers. There are, like, there are many kinds of milking cows, but we raise Holsteins because they produce the most milk. A cow can't make milk unless she had a baby. Most cows are, are about two years old when they have their first calf. After that, calf, cows have babies every year and they continue to give milk. A healthy milk cow gives about 10 months out of every year. A pregnant cow stops giving milk two months before her calf is born. She, during this time, is called a dry cow. Once her calf is born, she will produce milk again. These dry cows are on vacation in the meadow. They eat grass and get to drink water all day long. Cows need more than grass and water though to make the best milk. We grow corn for them too. We mix the corn with grass to make something called silage. That is cow food. Cows have a special stomach that helps them eat foods like grass and hay. Cows chew their food a bit and then swallow it, and later they cough it up and chew it again. This food is called cud. Cows that look like they are chewing are actually chewing their cud. A milking cow can eat up to 100 pounds of food a day. That's more than most of you probably weigh. A milking cow spends most of her time in the barn. She needs plenty of food and water. After calves are born, they stay with their mothers for a few hours. Then we move the female calves into their own pens. We sell the male cows to farmers who can raise them as bulls. Right after her calf is born, the mother cow produces thick yellow milk. This milk is the calf's first food. It helps the calf grow strong and protects the calf against germs. We always put booties over our shoes so we don't carry germs into the milking parlor. Then when it's milking time, whenever we, squeeze, we first squeeze a bit of the milk from the cow. Next, we wash and dry the udder. Then we attach the milk machine, which may look a little scary, but don't worry, it doesn't hurt the cow at all. When the milk is pumped out, it travels through a tube into a cooling tank. Holstein cows give enough milk to fill, fill as much as 100 glasses of milk a day. After the cows are milked, we wash their udders with medicine to protect the cows from germs. Then the cows wash through a foot bath. The foot bath has special medicine to keep the cow's feet healthy and clean. The cows need healthy feet so they can go up and down from the milking area with ease. That's the end of our tour today. Now that you know about dairy farming, maybe someday you'll come and work with us. Thanks for visiting, come back anytime. Thank you for listening to our story and I hope that you get to enjoy three servings of dairy a day to keep your body healthy and support our local dairy farmers.